The way this challenge works, it's Pokemon Emerald, but every battle is a one versus two. So I get one Pokemon, and then they, if they have more than one Pokemon, get to use two at the same time. Let's get into it, right? What about force double battles? Uh, there are 1v2. All right, I have a question. Should we be able to use items in battle? Yes, no, I'll let you guys vote. The poll says no items, all right. We will not be using any items in battle as well. There's scary Pokemon outside, I don't have any Pokemon. Okay, wait, what's our starter? You guys want Mudkip? We'll pick Mudkip. Now, the first battle, since there's only one Pokemon to fight, it's only a 1v1, because the wild Zigzagoon doesn't have a friend. So this will become more apparent once we get to trainers with two Pokemon. Our double battle's a 1v4? No, there's still a 1v2. Professor Virtual Yada, give a nickname? Yes. We're gonna nickname this at sign. Person who created this mod for me, by the way. Thank you, at sign. I appreciate it. All right. Wild battles are still normal because we wouldn't be able to catch Pokemon otherwise just because of the, the way the game works. All right. We're just gonna destroy her really quick. Look at this battle right here. We're fighting Mei. She only has one Pokemon, so it is a 1v1, but you can tell by the stance this is a double battle, but she only has one Pokemon, so we just have to fight it normally. I lost the battle. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, fine, I'll do a whiteout counter. All right, there, you, are you happy now? That number up there, the whiteout counter is never going up. Sorry. All right, fight, tackle. Tackle, my tackle missed. My tackle, two tackles missed in a row. We won. I beat May. Or you beat May on the first try? Yeah, I did, Birch. You are correct. Now I can show you guys how this challenge works. I'm pretty sure this person is two Pokemon. Yep, he has two Wurmples, and I have one Mudkip. And they get to attack me, and I can only ever attack one of them. If I get Earthquake, it's only gonna hit one of them. If they use Earthquake, it's only gonna hit me. Uh, I don't think this battle will be difficult, because it's two Wurmples. But yeah! Why does Earthquake only hit one? Because it makes it harder. Bug Catcher Rick. I guess we, we can catch Pokemon whenever we want. The first Pokemon we catch has to be tanky. We should get something with Intimidate. We should get Gyarados then, yeah. Where do we get the old rod? Duford. Okay. I'm not gonna catch a Pokemon until we hit Duford. Just saying that now. All right. Roxanne time. Okay. Two level 12 Geodudes. Does she usually have two Geodudes? Is that right? In Emerald, she actually has two. Okay. What is the biggest threat? Probably the nose. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Probably the nose pass is the bigger threat. I should have attacked the Geodude. Please take it out in one hit. Uh-oh. Do I white out here? Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit more strategy this time. We need to see if we can get like an Orenberry somewhere. All right, attempt number two with some actual strategy though. Give at sign an Orenberry. As long as they don't get a crit, we're fine. Here we go. Okay, we'll take one of them out instantly. I'm gonna take out the other Geodude, because Geodude was the one that was dealing damage. So I'm gonna water gun the Geodude. Nose pass out speeds me now, but the Geodude won't. Level 16, let's go. Okay, I think we can do this. We should be fine, we have the berry still. Tackle does nothing. Orenberry, good. She has a potion. I think we still win. Good. We got our marsh top. Mud shot, 55 power, 95 accuracy, better than growl. You know what? I'm gonna make the rule. Only allowed to catch a Pokemon after every badge. And my next Pokemon, now that I can catch one, is going to be Magikarp. Ahoy, we've landed in Duford. Oh, you old rod man? All right, we got an old rod. What's the highest level Pokemon we can catch here? 10 is the highest level. I'm gonna settle for nine. All right, level nine, we're catching it. Items, Pokeballs, go. Good tea. Uh, we're gonna get the EXP share really quick. And I'm gonna try and evolve Magikarp as quickly as possible. All right, I delivered your letter, EXP share, excellent. He was giving the XP share to hold, good. I think I'm gonna deliberately fight a lot of the trainers here because it's good EXP. And I've given T the EXP share, but also on the first slot, if, like, if... Oh, wait. Oh, we're starting this gym. I wasn't paying attention. Um... The Metatite is using Focus Punch. You've got to be kidding me. I'm just gonna die. <sighs> That's another whiteout. Is it even possible to win this battle? I only have one more Orenberry. I think we have to level up a little bit more. We're gonna go to Slateport. We're gonna fight all the trainers on the beach. You know what? Screw it. The nature of the challenge is double battles. Full send. 
If there's a double battle, I'm gonna try and force double battles. Mudshot. Hurt itself. Confusion. Atzan is confused. Just attack. I'm gonna white out to a random trainer. Maybe not. Snapped out of confusion. Crit. 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 Yes! Da -da 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 -da. Zigzagoon new surf one shot it right now. Why does this thing no surf at level 13? We one shot it. We're fine. Oh my god. That was scary. I just noticed something double battles are all in set mode It doesn't even give you the option to switch in a double battle. I mean it makes sense, but it's just huh one more battle. I think T level 20 finally we now have a Gyarados level twin T T learned bite a special move. Well, how is bite gonna help me with the gym? Whatever. Anyways, let's go get badge two now. All right, the real attempt this time. Intimidate, super clutch. Does it only intimidate one? It intimidates both. That's so good. So we're just gonna tackle meditate because it's gonna focus punch. <gasps> meditate knows reflect. All right, meditate. Why did it split? Let's try this again from the top. Boom. Destroyed the Meditite. I'm gonna tackle. How much does this do? That's after a Reflect. Tackle. Uh, this Machop is absolutely gonna just solo my entire team. It's just bulking up over and over again. It's bulking up and then Seismic Tossing. Alright. At sign takes a Vital Throw. We Mudshot the Makahita to take it out. Oh, we got a crit! Karate chop, don't crit, and we're fine. Speed fell. Excellent. Hit me one more time so I can water gun you to take you out. <laughs> we can water gun, and water gun should KO. Just barely. I mean, that just goes to show how hard this is. We had a level 20 Gyarados and a level 23 Marsh Tomp. And I survived with 1 HP. Alright, we can catch another Pokemon. I'm catching an Aeron. Aeron, there we go. Great ball. Caught it. I'm gonna name this one Skull. And we're gonna switch train Skull. Because Skull evolves at like level 40 something. Alright. May time. Wingle and Slugma. I think Gyarados resists all the moves that they could use. The Intimidate won't do much, but it's fine. Yeah, Water Gun, you resist. Good. And Ember. Yawn. We're just gonna bite Slugma, I think. That's fine. Bite is special. It has Rock Throw. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. They're not gonna use Water Gun again. It's gonna use Supersonic, and it's gonna use Rock Throw. Never mind, it yawned again. But we can Intimidate it, so the Rock Throw does less. Yeah, Ember, that's fine. Now Bite. T woke up, bites the Slugma to death. Not quite, never mind. Do I switch? Oh, I think I switch. Wing Attack, not very effective. Rock Throw, not very effective. Let's go. T comes out. Intimidate triggers again. Water Gun. That was a crit. That sucks. Slugma is kind of crippled right now. I'm actually going to bite the Wingle. Good. That prob... I think we'll be at one. Yeah, we're at one still. Grovile knows absorb. I'm going to hope we outspeed and bite. Oh, that is quick attack. We're going to headbutt Slugma to try and take it out this turn. And hope Grovile can't KO with one absorb. That's a crit. We lose... We can win that. Save Gyarados for Grovile, maybe? Yeah, you're right. Okay, we're gonna switch into at sign. Mudshot, Slugma. We took it out. I'm gonna switch T in now. It absorbs, it wing attacks, that does nothing. We need to prioritize taking out the Grovile now. If we can take out the Grovile, we're fine. That was a crit, nice. We are confused. I'm gonna switch into Skull. It's okay if Skull goes down. Pursuit did so much. Oh my god. Wingull is basically nothing now. That won't KO. We need to KO Grovile right now. We won. Because all we need to do is tackle now. And we win. And there you go. Alright. Second try. Third badge. Let's go. Should be an easy win. Because check this out. We'll send an at sign. They're just going to use two electric moves. We'll be good. That is not an electric move. That is Leer. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mudshot you. 
We'll take it out in one hit. We took that out. Good. Electric used Howl. I, I think Magneton is a bigger threat. I'm going to Mud Shot. That's going to do a decent amount because it Howled and Leered. Oh, why does Magneton outspeed me? Okay, I'm going to have to sack T. Shockwave. That was a worthy sacrifice. Please destroy the Magneton. That's not going to do a lot. Sonic Boom. It misses. Good. Crit. Didn't matter. Okay, we just need to take out Manectric now. If we can take out Manectric, I think we might win. Because this should be a one-shot on the Manectric, right? We just got terrible luck on that one. That's all. Okay, I'm just gonna win right now. Because it's gonna roll out. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna mud shot the Magneton. It's gonna howl. It misses a supersonic. I'm gonna mud shot again, and we win. Easy. I was done throwing. Alright. Help the rock smash people out. And we have strength and 80 base power. 100 accuracy move. That T can learn. What's the next mon? Oh yeah, we should catch something, shouldn't we? Because we we're allowed to. Skarmory. Skarmory, that was quick. Caught it, let's go. Uh, we're gonna name this Marco. Water Steel Team. Steel is my favorite type. Why Skarmory specifically? It's just really defensive and very cool. Here we go. Magma Meteorite Man. Maxi. Zubat. This is fine. We'll switch in T. Intimidates him. Sand Attack. That's annoying. I'm gonna switch back. Sand Attack and Supersonic. I'm gonna switch back in. I'm gonna wait until they stop trying to Sand Attack and confuse me. He used Bite. And he used Bite. Let's go. Strength. Strength. T fainted. Water Gun. I'll just take the confusion. Wait, what? How am I on such low health? Don't hit me, Zubat. No! Just wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna do it. This is gonna be so fast. Don't blink. We're just gonna get lucky. Never mind. Water gun. Bomb. Water gun. Huge magnitude. Magnitude breaks the game. How do we win this then? Bro, what just dealt all of my health? Okay, water gun, please. Okay, it did not use magnitude for once. We took it out. Okay, good. Dig. Dig. Okay, this one. All right, gym four, let's go. Uh, we're gonna strength you. They put up a light screen. Smog. I'm gonna strength to try and weaken it so it doesn't use magnitude. Good. Sunlight's still strong. We'll strength again. It used overheat. That's fine. Uh, she's gonna try and heal it now. I have to water gun. Yeah. Hopefully that does a lot. That's not gonna do enough. Game's gonna crash. She's gonna magnitude. It was a crit! Okay, in that case, we'll dig. I hit dig. Dig again. It missed overheat. It hit overheat. Heck. Torkoal. She has a hyper potion. We lose. It's really hard playing around this magnitude. I can't level up. There's no Pokemon to level up on. Trainers in the gym? Oh, yeah, there's trainers in the gym. That's right. I need one more level. That's what I wanted. Dragon Rage. Because now I can just Dragon Rage. And it just two shots everything. Okay, let's try this again. Dragon Rage is so good for early game. All right, we're ready. Let's see how much Dragon Rage does. That's about the same. Damn it. So, all of that grinding was for nothing. I'm gonna sit with recoil. Sun that is strong. I will Dragon Rage Camerupt. I think Camerupt is high defense. That's actually perfect because I can just Dragon Rage again. And that should be basically perfect for defeating it. Because it has about 80 health, it looks like. Yeah, good. Numble is taking down again. That's a crit, not fair. It's gonna seem dumb, but I'm switching into Marco to take the overheat. Good. Special attack already fell. Skull is gonna switch in and apparently take a body slam. The sunlight faded. I'm a mud slap the Numel. Yeah, Numel's gonna take down and Torkoal's gonna sunny day. Never mind. We're gonna send in T. We dragon rage Torkoal. Numel with the sunny day. That's terrible. That KOs. The sunny day is really bad because now I can't water gun. So I have to dig. 
I'm gonna hope it takes out the Torkoal. It might be enough. With the crit, it would definitely be enough. Ha <laughs> ha! We've intimidated Nummel twice. We win. And that's it. We defeated Flannery! Alright, now we can go to the fifth gym. But we're able to catch another Pokemon. He climbs the ladder on the bike! <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Root Fossil, that's the one we want. Yes. All right, I think the next one we're gonna catch is a ball toy. Yo, there's a ball toy. Pog. It's time, gym number five. That has four Pokemon, a Spinda and a Vigoroth. All right, we're gonna use a Marco as a safe switch in because he's gonna try and slash us. Yeah, Teeter Dance, that's expected. Apparently Teeter Dance hits everyone on the field. Fantastic for us, because I can just switch. We're gonna intimidate again. If Vigoroth hits himself, this will be great. Damn it. He used Faint Attack, and they used Psy Beam, and now I'm confused again. Vigoroth stabbed out of confusion. Facade. Nice. Okay. So, now we just Steel Wing. Alright. So they Teeter Danced. Vigoroth is gonna smack himself. Faint Attack. Annoying. Uh, we're gonna Strength, because it's gonna do more than Dragon Rage. Oh, Vigoroth snapped out again, man. Okay. We're gonna weaken Vigoroth again. They both use Facade. He'll probably go for the heal. He did not go for the heal. T fainted. This is okay. We still have at sign. Dig the Spinda. Yeah, it's faster. What? Teeter Dance. Everyone's confused. We're going to switch back into Marco. Hopefully Vigoroth hits himself. Never mind. He's just never going to hit himself. Vigoroth will never take damage. Skull comes in. Takes a side beam, not very effective at all. I'm just gonna headbutt and hope for the best. It snapped out of confusion. Yeah, there's a faint attack. Just gonna use a side beam. I took out the Spinda. There's slacking. Headbutt the Vigoroth. Okay, what's his other Pokemon? It's a Linoon, right? Yeah, I just mud slap the slacking. We take it. We didn't get taken out from that. Linoon do a setup move. Oh my god. Um. Okay, its accuracy is lowered. It's loafing around. What's it gonna do? Facade. Linoon outspeeds everything that I have. Bro, what the hell? Let's evolve Skull, I think. I'm so far away from Pokemon that are good to train on. You're really going after slow evolving Pokemon? Yeah. It's just, I want a cool team. Use daycare? Like, I could, I guess. Brown, 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 brown. Skull, Marco, yes. All right, Skull, elevated. Skull evolves at level 32. There we go. No more stupid grinding. Wait, did they get rid of Steel Wing? You gotta be kidding me. Skarmory learns set Gen 3 Emerald. It learns Steel Wing at level 32. It's okay. We'll just be at terrible for a bit. Here we go. All right, so we started with the Intimidate. We switch in Skull. They're gonna slash, they're gonna facade, it's gonna do nothing. I will Iron Tail. They're gonna use Faint Attack, does nothing. Iron Tail hits, of course. Ooh, baby, their defense fell. We Iron Tail the Vigoroth this time. Boom. Does Metal Claw finish that off? Metal Claw. It does not finish it off. We're gonna Metal Claw it. I missed Metal Claw. And we've been Teeter Danced. Vigoroth finished itself off. Let's go. Slacking comes out. I hurt myself. Confusion. Classic. We Iron Tail. Boom. Slacking. Faint attacks. Skull is still confused. Skull hurt itself. Confusion. But they confuse Slacking. Let's go. Slacking is still loafing around. Skull, stop hitting yourself. Skull died. Well, that's fine. We're going to send in T now. And now we're going to send in Marco. And now I'll send in T. Stop. Teeter dancing! I just don't want to be confused. Okay, everyone is confused. There's no reason to teeter dance. What the f Why? Stop! Finally. We can now attack the slacking freely. We use strength. Dragon rage. It's confused. It yawned. Me too. Teeter dance. You know what? I don't care. Dragon rage. We'll get lucky. Dragon Rage, let's go. We took out Slacking. We're gonna send an at sign. Rock smash the Linoon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
I was confused. Okay, Marco. Fit yourself, fit yourself. Yes! That's dead. We win! Rock smash. And we just barely won. Whoo! That spindle was awful. All right, we finally have surf. And now, just a reminder, spread moves hit one Pokemon. I cannot hit both at the same time. I'm just making sure you guys know that's how it works. You can't just KO everything super easy. Now that we defeated another gym, we're gonna go get the fossil. We got the Lilip. Let's go and destroy gym six now. I'm not putting the EXP share on Lilip until Sprite evolves. Claydol is dope, but not good. It's gonna be good in this challenge because it's so bulky. We teach Claydol toxic cosmic power, recover. It'd be so dumb how good it is. Recover is an egg move though. Wait, is it actually an egg move? It never learns recover. I've been raising up this stupid sprite for nothing? What the heck? It's like literally my highest level Pokemon. Screw this. We're gonna go replace a Pokemon. Check Credilly move set. Ingrain plus stockpile is pretty good. I will give it that. Stockpile doesn't have defense and special defense buffs in this gen. Never mind. Yeah, we're just not going to use Lilip. I'm sorry. We need to find two new Pokemon because I'm not using these two. So guess what we're going to get? We're going to get an egg and we're going to get a freaking why not. I'm going to name this Banana. All right, now we just need to level it up a little bit. Honestly, I'm just gonna try and get the badge right now. I'm not like really ready for it because I dumped all those Pokemon, but like, let's just go for it. Winona has five Pokemon. Oh my God. I think the biggest threat right now is probably Tropius. Actually, they're not gonna be able to do anything to Marco. I can just fly Tropius, fly, destroy the Tropius. Good. Pelipper, hmm. Sand attack. Uh, all Pokemon will faint in a few turns. All right. The game may crash here. She withdrew both of her Pokemon. And there's the game freezing. We're not going to count that as a whiteout. All right. In that case, we just have to take out Swablu. There we go. I'm going to switch in Marco. Uh, no, I want to fly the Tropius. That was a crit. Nice. I'm gonna swift. Oh, no. She's gonna heal. Got rid of her potion there. There we go. She sends in her own Skarmory. Hmm. Santa take the Skarmory? Oh, that one has keen eye. Of course that one has keen eye. I think I'm just gonna surf the Skarmory with Gyarados. Yeah, because Pelipper is just gonna protect. Skarmory special defense is awful. So it's gonna do all... That was a crit. That's not fair, man. Unless I get a crit, then it's fair. How am I going to deal with Pelipper? Wow. I'm so sorry, Banana, but you're dead. It's just going to water gun me again, isn't it? This is stupid. The Pelipper is such a problem. Banana. Ba -da 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 -da. We're going to train Banana up a little bit. All right, here we go. I have a level 33, 28, 32, 29, and 24. And this is the sixth badge. At least Intimidate works. Uh, we're gonna fly the Tropius. Mirror move, good. Swablu sucks, we can keep it alive. Tropius use Sunny Day, it's gonna Solar Beam now. Fly, good. Okay, we took out Tropius. We can't fly the Pelipper because it just knows it's Protect. So we're just gonna have to spam Swift. That's annoying. I'm gonna switch to T. We're gonna Strength the Pelipper. Supersonic Mist. They send in their own Skarmory. I'm going to switch into my own Skarmory. He's going to Sand Attack. It mirror moves. We're switching into T to get the Intimidates. I'm going to switch again. Here we go. We lowered its attack twice. It uses Parish Song. Uh, I can Surf the Skarmory now. Parish Count fell to two. We can Surf one more time. Parish the Skarmory before. And then if we can defeat the Skarmory beforehand. Parish Count fell to one. I think she switches out Swablu first. I'm, I'm gonna take the fall, and so Swablu faints as well. No. Oh, that's annoying. She swaps first. Then she gets the Swablu back in for free, and T goes down, and I don't get to do the Intimidate. Oh no. I guess I just have to fly Altaria. It's dumb. It went for Earthquake. Earthquake doesn't affect me. Winona with the big brain. I think I'm gonna spam Sand Attacks. Two. Oh, she used Parish Song. We win. 
<laughs> Let's go! Marco f faints. Go skull. Swab blues parish count fell to zero. It would have defeated Winona. Okay, well that one was way better. Bird brain Winona. <laughs> okay, yeah, magma hideout time. Time to beat Maxi. Why does he have level 40s? So I'm gonna intimidate until Crobat is useless. And then I'm gonna defeat the Pokemon on the right. Crobat knows bite. And I flinched. Yes! Miss, yes! No! Bro. I'm just gonna headbutt this because I have plus two attack. Camera flinched, stupid! Please, let's be camera upped. That's gonna do nothing. I intimidated it like a million times. This should KO. Yes! If I don't flinch... I didn't even need to. Torrent! We won! Maxi has three Pokemon. That's it? Yeah, we should get a new team member. I just... I don't know who I want to catch. Yo, you know what? We're gonna get a Shedinja. We're gonna name it Deadshot. Oh, here we go. Deadshot go to level 20. Deadshot evolved into Ninjask. And now we have a Shedinja that we need to rename Deadshot. <laughs> and now uh, this gym is going to be a little bit more difficult now. The thing about this gym is that this gym is actually designed to be done in a 2v2. So the Pokemon have synergy with each other. And they have a team designed for doubles. So I'm just going to hope we win. We'll see what happens. Tate and Liza. They're level 41? How have I got this far? What the hell? Zatu just setting up. Claydol is using Earthquake, wasting its time. That was a crit, by the way. I don't know why they keep spamming Earthquake, but I'm fine with it. Another crit for me, please. Nope. Zatu use Psychic. It's just gonna one-shot my whole team now. Yeah, if we just leave the Claydol, we live in. Crit. Ah, oh, she heals now. Sand attack. Played all use psychic for once. Wait a minute. I don't think. Oh. Played all is ancient power. Is that to use sunny day? Played all use earthquake. I can take that. Hey, banana! All right, destiny bond. No. Oh. Like unless this crits. No. It... I have one more idea. The idea is to not be dumb anymore. We need to mirror coat and Zatu needs a psychic. That doesn't even KO! Quick claw location, gen 3. Alright, new strategy. It's a 1 in 5 chance to work. But if it does, we win the battle. Banana, first turn, counters the Earthquake. Takes out Claydol. Easy. The next turn, we had a Quick Claw Destiny Bond. We got the Quick Claw! We outsped, that means that turn we got the Quick Claw! And that do you Psychic! Toxic location, Pokemon Gen 3. Okay, we got Toxic. Okay, we're gonna Destiny Bond. That's not gonna KO. We get a Destiny Bond this turn, good. Psychic again. Yes! Alright, Marco, take the Psychic. Yep, Sand Attack you. Lunatone, you Psychic. The next Pokemon is also gonna have to take a Psychic at sign. We hope Lunatone uses Calm Mind now. Saw Rock is gonna use Solar Beam. Yep. Skull is gonna have to take a Psychic. Oh no, that's so bad. I think they're gonna use Flamethrower. T needs to take one attack. And yeah, we, we're slower, so we... Wait! T outspeeds! We win! Because yeah, now all we need to do is hit a Toxic. We hit a Toxic. We won. Because Toxic kills this turn. Let's go! <laughs>
Badge number seven. I have no idea how this Steven battle is gonna work where it makes you team up with Steven. You're gonna help me? Let's go into battle together? Yes. All right. Hey, sorry, but you're cheating, Steven. Bye. Oh. This is what I get. All right, let's go deal with Steven because that's not fair. We need to destroy Steven, so it's a 1v2. Basically, this battle is a 1v3, pretty much. Dig Matang. Yo, give me the boost. Let's go. Don't get confused, and we're good. Hurt yourself in confusion. Damn it, dude. Take out the Metang. Stop destroying yourself. Everything is trying to fight me, including myself, apparently. Snapped out of confusion. There we go. All right. I destroyed... I did not destroy Metang. What the hell? I actually... I'm just... I'm literally trying to destroy the Metang, and it's not working. I can't. Iron Tail the Agron. Die! Die! <laughs> Agron's dead. Let's go. God, this is going to take forever. Iron Tail the Skarmory. Metal Claw Skarmory. No! <laughs> I couldn't do anything to stop him. Steven won the 1v3. All right. The world is in chaos. Let's go talk to Rayquaza. All right. I'm going to hold the poll now. Do I catch Rayquaza? You get to choose. All right. 60% said yes. So we're going to catch Rayquaza. Do I use Rayquaza? Damn it. I have to catch it, but I can't use it? I should not have held a second poll. I can't use it by 15 votes. All right. Okay. I named it after the 15 people that were the swing for the vote. So I have an idea for this gym, and if it works, it's gonna be absolutely hilarious. I don't think he has any Pokemon that are super effective. Oh. Well, that's annoying. As long as it doesn't hit itself, we're fine. <sighs> New plan! Take out Love Disc and then switch in Shedinja. Strength you. Good. Alright, the moment of truth. Water Pulse, we avoided the damage. Toxic. Whiskash use Rain Dance. Celio use Encore. Did we just win? It's not switching. Encore. I can, I can do this all day. Yeah. Toxic Whiskash. As long as it doesn't have Ice Beam. Ice isn't super effective. Double team just in case. Wait, maybe this can hit. Whiskash, Water Pulse, Crawdon, Leer. Might as well just continue double teaming just in case they do have a move. Toxic Kingdra. Kingdra just double teams as long as I hit it with the Toxic. We're good. We just win. Wait, what? How did it... Kingdra is the only Pokemon left. Does it have Shed Skin or something? I'm just gonna Sand Attack it a million times so it can't hit the rest of my team. Strength. Damn it. Bite. 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 We win! <laughs> Second try. Let's go. Oh. You know what time it is now? It's Bagon time. Let's go catch a Bagon. Who are we gonna replace? Probably Deadshot, honestly. Deadshot is effectively useless now. It was only good for the 8th gym. Bagon, baby! Please, stay in the ball. We're gonna name it Bacon. Now, we do need to level up Bacon, like, a lot. We'll probably try and get everything up to, like, level 50 before actually trying the Elite Four. Maybe stronger than that, we'll see. Yeah, victory road time. Uh, we have a hard battle immediately, because we have to fight our rival. There he is. Alright. Wow, we're still underleveled. Oh, I'm paralyzed. That is disgusting. I'm paralyzed. Oh my god. Marco. Use a full restore. Just fly. Altari is dragon dancing. Delcaddy. What? Oh, assist doesn't work. <laughs> we should reset. It's gonna crash. Good to know. Alright. Uh, we need to take out that before it uses assist or else it breaks the challenge. Mirror coat. We're paralyzed again. Bro. Uh, the game's about to crash. It used assist. Wait, it might have fixed itself. It fixed itself. Let's go. Dig you. Yep. We're going to switch to Marco. I'm seated. That's fine. We'll one-shot the Roselia. How did it fix itself? No clue. I'm not going to question it. We're going to fly the Gardevoir. Never mind. What if we just strength the Gardevoir? And then we strength the Altaria? And then strength the Altaria? Can you stop? 
using healing items. And then we'll surf the Altaria. That's the best I can do. And we defeated Wally. We made it. All right, we'll level this ad sign, learn Earthquake. 52. Let's level this up to 52 really quick. Honestly, what I'm kind of tempted to do is beat the Elite Four in like one go. Like, without save scumming at all. All right, here we go. Ad sign, level 52. And Earthquake. Get rid of Dig. Let's go. I would like to level up the other Pokemon or at least get them some slightly better moves. All right, here's our final team for now going into the Elite Four. We have T, the Gyarados, Silk Scarf, Surf, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Strength, Skull, the Aggron, Metal Claw, Iron Tail, Rollout, Brick Break, At Sign, Surf, Earthquake, Muddy Water, Ice Beam, Salamence, Flamethrower, Headbutt, Dragon Claw, Fly, Marco, Swift, Fly, Steel Wing, Aerial Ace, Banana, Miracle, Desi Bond, Encore, Counter. That's everybody. Quick Claw on Banana, by the way. All right, let's do this. Wait, 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 one thing we need to do. He doesn't have any dark moves, but now he looks cool. We're gonna have to do this all in one go. I'm not doing any saves in between battles. We gotta do it all the way through. Let's go. Skull's got the brick break. Although we were just intimidated, we're gonna switch in bacon because they're just gonna use a grass move. We're gonna intimidate them right back. Double team and sand attack. We're gonna switch into T. Sand attack, that's fine. We're gonna switch back into Skull now. Extra sensory doesn't do much. Crunch doesn't do much. I'm just gonna roll out the Mighty Anna, I think. Because it'll be stronger than Brick Break very, very quickly. Never mind, they're gonna sand attack me. That's annoying. My attack is really high, though. They did swagger me. If I can get through this, we'll be fine. Broke out of confusion. And I hit the Mighty Anna. Good. Double team and sand attack. Just awful. Okay, brick break. Shift tree with the double team. Whatever. We missed. It used needle arm. That took us out. We're gonna send in bacon. Bacon is just gonna flamethrower the cacturn. Good. Absol. I think it's not gonna take a dragon claw very well. It used swords dance. I don't think it survived this. Yeah, good. Crawdont is next. Uh, I need to take out this Crawdon immediately, though. Fly the Crawdon. And you're dead. And now, we just need to hit the shift tree once. Wait, we have Aerial Ace! I forgot! <laughs> Read like a book, dude. Six double teams for nothing, shift tree. Just wasted your time. Elite Force Sydney down. It's one done. Now, the one thing about this next battle is that we don't have any super effective moves. I'm just gonna try Dragon Dancing and see what happens. Shadow Ball. If they're just gonna Shadow Ball, that's only physical moves. I can just switch between my two Intimidate Mons, and they'll do nothing. It used Curse. That's annoying. I can't set up any more on it. I think I just have to Earthquake the... Binet. I don't think Banette has Levitate. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, they were gonna take me out if I Dragon Danced. Okay, now Bacon comes out. We'll just Dragon Claw. Uh, we can now Dragon Claw the Banette. Lost all its PP due to Grudge. Whatever. We're gonna fly the Sableye. That has Ice Beam. Skull comes in. And I'm just gonna start the rollouts on Dusclops. Okay, that's fine. What if I just Destiny Bond? Sableye takes itself out. We send an at sign. Hits me with a Shadow Ball. My special defense fell. Shadow Ball is a physical move. My attack is higher, so I hit Banette with the Earthquake. Earthquake again. Earthquake again. She's spamming items to heal with. That's annoying. Aerial Ace Banette. He has Ice Beam, but we Aerial Ace. And we Aerial Ace and we win. There we go. Now this one's gonna be interesting, because they only have water or ice moves for the start. So if I can set up with T. I'm just gonna try setting up uh, Dragon Dances. Here we go. Intimidate, Dragon Dance. What are they gonna do? Icy Wind. Hail. Gonna Dragon Dance again. Okay, we need to take out the one that's gonna Body Slam us. We did not one-shot the Celio, and we're paralyzed. God, that is the worst case scenario. They're at full health. Fly. Marco's down. They're only gonna use special moves, so I think I'm just gonna Mirror Coat. Good. Think we can take one more? No, we're gonna Destiny Bond. There we go. Took down Glalie. 
Banana took down two. Can Bacon take down anything in this? Why did that Ice Ball go through? We're just gonna have to Dragon Claw this Celio. It'll take down one of them. Celio's attack missed! Oh my god! Celio's Blizzard. Okay, that actually didn't do too much. Uh, we're gonna roll out the Wall Rain. Just have to Earthquake the Wall Rain. Hope we KO. It used Sheer Cold. <sighs> that was some awful luck, man. Yeah, we're just running it back. That's all I can really do at this point. Save before Glacia? Nah. I'm saving before the first one and never doing it again. Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance. God, why does it always... It's just forcing me to... It encored me into Dragon Dance. I did no damage. Let's go! I'm not in torrent range. Maybe it'll miss a sheer cold or something. If this explodes, and this brick break goes off, we could win. Crit, crit, crit. Please, 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 please. Oh. This might work, actually. She didn't heal. As long as this hits... Holy sh... Did I actually win? Anyways? Please tell me I win this. Oh my god, it used hail. We finally won. Two more battles! Now, I think for the start, I literally just have to open with Bacon and just Dragon Claw away. Okay, Shogun's gonna protect, so we're gonna Dragon Claw Altaria. They use Dragon Dance. Please tell me we outspeed. Dragon Breath. Oh my god. We were paralyzed. We took it out, though. Super effective. That's fine. We send out At Sign. At Sign, Ice Beams, Flygon. We take out Flygon. Kingdra comes out. We Earthquake Kingdra. We Earthquake Kingdra again. Hopefully it doesn't KO me. It uses Smoke Stream. Don't miss. We didn't miss. We took it out. We Strength the Salamence. Strength the Salamence again. I wanted to switch out, so I got rid of the um, Smoke Stream. So I can hit an Ice Beam. As long as this doesn't KO. Come on. Yes! No! I'm in a Mirror Coat. That won't KO. That will. We just need a mirror code again. Drake's down. Okay, what's what's uh, Wallace's team? Waylord, Tentacruel, Ludicolo, Whiskash, Gyarados, Milotic. Waylord and Tentacruel. Clear body. I think I just Earthquake Tentacruel first turn. And this is toxic. It's gonna try and toxic again, won't it? I'm gonna Earthquake so Water Spout doesn't hit. Whatever it did, I think it missed a blizzard. We're gonna Earthquake again. Sludge Bomb. I reduce its attack. I'm poisoned. Didn't need to Toxic. Blizzard hits. Oh, that'll kill. That didn't KO. I'm gonna Earthquake Waylord and it'll be crippled because it, it'll have Blizzard and Water Spout and that's it. Like, it only has two more blizzards and Water Spout's gonna do nothing. So if I just leave it on the left, we'll be fine. I hate this, though. I really hope this KOs Tentacruel. Nope. I don't know what it's going to be. Is it going to be Blizzard or Water Spout? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Blizzard needs to miss. What? It outspeeds? And Blizzard hits. Oh! Freeze. It has Giga Drain. I'm going to scream. That was a crit. You've got to be kidding me. I literally just can't win now. I'm just gonna go through a bunch of times. We're just gonna fight them a bunch to level up. You think you do this with eight more whiteouts? We're gonna do it with eight more whiteouts maximum. I'm not gonna let it go more than that. I'm gonna level up Gyarados. If we level up T to the point where like a one dragon dance can sweep through like a team, that'll help a lot. If T is like nine levels stronger, that would be enough. And you guys didn't let me use Rayquaza. We could have been done this three hours ago if you guys let me use Rayquaza. But no, you wanted me to show my skill of running back and forth in Victory Road for three extra hours. Yo, it's level 60. Okay, let's do it. Full send. I'm just gonna speed run it. Ice Beam Salamence. Nice. Ice Beam Shellgun. Nice. Whoever told me to get Ice Beam, thank you. Now we just need to get lucky and it needs to miss a few blizzards, basically. Don't screw me again. Just give me good luck. 
Just one battle. Tentacle down. Good. Yes, that's what we want to see. We do not want to see Ludicolo. Rain dance. Good. Now, we set up Dragon Dance as Milotic tries to Toxic. Please. Yes. Now, Waylord Blizzard's miss. <gasps> we strength to weaken that. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that just yet. We Dragon Dance. I think we have to Earthquake Milotic and hope it KOs. High Roller Crit, please. Should have just earthquake twice. I should have just earthquake twice. That sign can still come out. That might be out of healing range. It is. <clears throat> Waylord uses Blizzard. Is it gonna use Blizzard again? Is the question. Do I need to let Ad sign go down now? Because it's just gonna Giga Drain. I could pivot with Skarmory. Hope it doesn't use Blizzard. Rain Dance. Giga Drain. I could fly actually. That would waste PP. Oh my God. Please KO. Ludico Lord spent because of Swift Swim. That what? That doesn't KO? What happened? That KO'd before. Did I get a crit last time? No. He's using double team. Please hit. I need it to hit. Yes. That should kill. <sighs> Water spout dish. Nothing. My attack was lowered. No, it's gonna dragon dance. We need to f dragon claw right now. Wait. Gyarados use surf. After dragon dancing! Wait a minute! We might be able to take out. No, no, no. I think Atsign can take a hit. Yeah. What's our HP at? No, we're just over a third. I have to Ice Beam then. That's not gonna be enough, is it? Please. Yes! <laughs> is this it? What do I do to Whisk Ash? It's raining, isn't it? We're in torrent range. We surf, we surf. This will KO. This has to KO. The crit! I think we win. We earthquake? Mm. Let's go! With 69 wideouts. Just barely. 12 hours, 21 minutes. Pokemon Emerald, but every battle is a freaking 1v2. And now we get to hear the best credits theme. This challenge was way cooler than I expected. This might be one of my favorite challenges. Let's see the team that did it. T, level 61. Marco, Skarmory, 52. At sign. Swampert, 63. Bacon the Salamance, level 55. Skull the Agron, level 56. And Banana the Wobbuffet, level 54. A pretty cool team. How many in-game hours? 56. Not including the resets. Oh, I have a newfound hatred for Wallace. My god. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye-bye.